mark. You know, what audiences are missing in theaters is more experiences. And at some point, there's going to be, you know, people are going to get tired of just going to a center screen theater because of all the other things that you can do now. And I just felt that the future was, was open to the new Escape format, and I wanted to be part of that. We're the first movie in Canada being shot in the Barco Escape format, and only the second in the world actually being shot specifically for this format. Let's say we have a beautiful view of the mountain, or the SUV, or the kids running into the forest. Now, uh, you as an audience, you may feel that you're running in the forest because you see left and right, you can feel the trees and you can feel the nature passing by. Here you will have extra footage that you may never be able to see if you're watching this movie on a regular TV. There's, there's a, a number of ways to explain Barco Escape. There's complicated ways, but there is actually a very, very simple way. Just think of your screen extended and to a degree rotate around you. Right. You know, it's, it's expanding the cameras for us to be able to tell a bigger story. The first time that we were able to show Escape to kids, I got to be there and it was amazing. People's expressions and experiences were just some of the best things. That's when we knew. That's when we knew that we had something that, that really was going to sell, you know, and that both the exhibitors and the filmmakers were both going to jump onto. I actually like the idea of having wide shots to see action. I'm still kind of old school in that way. I don't like the narrowness of some of the st uh, action cutting styles of, of modern action films. I like seeing a little bit more body and the interaction between the actors and space. This format lends itself to that greatly. We need to find the next level. We need to find what's going to pull someone in. And what's going to pull them in is literally, physically, Pulling them into these moments, and Barco is working on doing that and, and advancing in that new cinematic format. What's exciting is, is that that canvas is now so much larger, and that experience for the audience is so much wider, um, and it's a balancing act. How much of the subliminal stuff do you put on the side screens? Um, we will be the test, and uh, ultimately the audience will determine if we're successful or not.